Hi. Hi, I've just had a comment from one of you saying you missed my videos, which is the sweetest thing. So it's um, inspired me to do a bit of a day video. As you can see, I'm not ready. Look at that. Look at that hair colour change. What the fuck? Is... Anyway, uh, I need to dye that. So I've just had a shower and I've done a skin peel. I still look haggard. And I put on some tannin drops. This is a really old bottle, but I put this on. That I hope gives me a bit of colour and I'm just going to quickly put on a really light coat of this. I hope you're all well. I hope you enjoyed the labour video. Like I say, there's more to it, but we don't always need all the gory details, do we? I said I was going to show you some of the stuff I bought for Alfie when I wean him. And today is an organisational day, so I may well do that. I had quite a good night last night. He didn't wake up till 4am, which hasn't happened for a long time. I woke up at half two. <laughs> so I was awake, looking over at him, making sure he's okay. Started stirring at about four, so I gave him a little nappy change and a feed. At that point, I was very engorged, and I was very pleased that he'd woken up. He got a very good feed, and he fell back asleep till about six or seven. Um, I think I said last time, I don't know if I said in the last video, but we took him swimming. I took him with uh, my mum. That was really good fun. The pool was freezing cold though and I actually forgot my swimsuit because as it seems as a mum you forget everything for yourself, for everything for your baby. So I had everything for him. I forgot my swimsuit so I had to go to the supermarket to get some and or get one sorry and the woman there said it's freezing cold in that pool so yeah, she said it's really cold, which it is, and it also has these big nasty like blowers, these wind blowers, so that when you come out the pool, it blows freezing cold air on you. Look how dusty these are. See, I haven't used these for ages. I haven't used anything for ages. Yeah, I will see you in a bit once I've done all of this. I'll show you what I've bought for his weaning, and just spend a bit of a a bit of today with me. I shall see you in a minute once I've done this mop with you I can be sad with you just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear with you enormous storage bag now they're not wrong there are they Ow, stand. you're going to help me very good. You're gonna lay down and go in night. So I got these for his room when we move. I probably won't put them up now unless we don't literally move for like, unless we know we're not moving for long. Some cute little fairy lights. So these were gifted to us from somebody we used to work with. Some lovely bunting. We've got the classic Ike Ikea dog bottom hook. I've got a lovely light, which I think is battery powered. This is for when he's a bit older. So in here I've got a little puzzle. A clock. <laughs> I might give him that soon. With the little things. We have this. This is obviously for when he's a bit older. Nice little stacking toy. I remember these. Remember these in playgroup? I guess it's like a dexterity thing, isn't it? I have this. Which I may set up soon because he's really starting to love his bath times now. So it's a bubbly crab. Got some bathroom like letters, foam ones. When he's older, you can stick them on the side. They, I used to have them and I used to love them. But basically for weaning. So I thought these would be good. I have a couple of ones like this. Put in food and then like they can mash it up and it gets all stuck in there and they can chew on it. And it's got like a chewy end. Kind of like a spoony thing maybe. Like that. So... They'll be good for like playing with food and mashing into food and practicing holding and eating and things. Little fork and spoon set. Look. We've got this lovely dinosaur plate that comes with cutlery. Got a few because I thought when he starts to be weaned and if he stays at grandparents' house, you know, I can keep that there. Look at that. So it's got the sucky pads and that comes with some too. This is so cute and it's got the little suction pad so. So I thought these would be great for, it comes with a lid, these would be great for when I want to kind of bulk make purees when he's starting off weaning. And then I can freeze them into blocks, put them into these bags, these little reusable bags. 
so just two to start off with but obviously I'll likely get more but they're the ones that catch Ooh, how cute is that a whale and a digger yeah I thought that will start us off nicely so what I'm going to do is put all the weaning stuff into one bag I'm probably going to leave the crab out um that we can put that in bath time and then I'll most likely run the hoover around um I need to vacuum pack those clothes I need to vacuum pack some bedding and I need to put some stuff aside to go into the loft so I'm just gonna blitz that as quickly as I can because I think it's like three o'clock now so I got a bit distracted and ended up opening the delivery bag I got a really cute muslin I just wanted to show you hey guys and girls the battery died I got another muslin these big ones are so handy I think I've got about four but this is just so nice to wrap him in I also got a couple of hats for him this one is when he's a bit older. How cute! This one is really tiny. He can probably wear this soon. We can just see him in it. And um, I got another one of these. These are so handy. I found myself needing one the other day when I went swimming. And I love, I just love the designs on these. I got like a little sun hat with little panda bears on. Which is adorable. Oh my god. I have found these so handy. I have used every single one I've had. Details. I thought these were a really pretty design. This lovely orange and lemon. And then this I thought was cute for Alfie. For we're gonna hopefully go to the Isle of Wight soon, or at some point. And it's a little bucket, um, and it's got some lovely little sand molds and a little spade and a little sivvy thing. This little spades. I thought that was really sweet. So that'll be fun. I now need to put this all away. I've packed most of it into one of the big bags. Anyway, I will go and I will see you in a bit. All right, so I am in the nursery and I've just found, I think this is what one of Ed's friends gave us. So I'm gonna give that a go. That looks really good, I'm really pleased. I forgot I had that. These are from his uncle, so my brother-in-law. These are the little brand I find really good. We've also got some boots, bamboo ones. I've had bamboo ones before. A friend gifted me some newborn ones. And they were fantastic. They were so soft. And I've tried the eco ones that you get in Waitrose. Um, but they just kept breaking like the um, the little sticky pads that you pull around. Every time I pulled it, it just tore off. Like in the middle of the night when you've got a screaming baby. And you've just ripped a nappy in half. It's like, no, like you pull it. Rip. I was like, for God's sake. I, thought, I don't even know where this came from. I keep finding things. I don't know where things came from. I think people must have just bought us a load of stuff, like probably especially when I was like in hospital and stuff, because I kind of keep finding things that I have no idea who bought. No idea who bought him that. So I've washed that because obviously it was brand new. It's from Next and it's really fleecy lined. I think I was so out of it in hospital. I don't know who bought what. We're going to try and do this. Well, I really, really like to do this with Ed soon with Alfie um, before he gets too big. And in here, I've got all of his clothes for when he's older hanging up. Got a playpen in there which doesn't fit in our house because the house is too small so i'm trying to keep everything neat and organized so i know what i have and i'll show you the nursery now and then i'll show you it after so at the moment these are clothes i need to put away stanley's never too far i need to put these away nappies swimmers boxes of home stuff these are three bags of clothes i'm talking about that all of his onesies that don't fit him anymore that's a newborn thing for his bouncer his cot underneath all the bedding that will be backpacks, his little seat. And yes, I need to organise this. Wish me luck and I will show you the end result. See how long it takes me. So I've organised this a lot better. So here I have his bulk nappy, uh, sorry, wipes, um, his swimmers. I've got a nappy, he's got his bumper, which I haven't really used much yet because I haven't really got the space. I've got in this box here is um, some prints I want to put up. I got his clothes hanging so this is stuff he wears at the moment and also stuff he's going to grow into. And then up here I've got those toys that I was talking about, um, his little sand pit stuff and his shoes and the six to nine month, oh no six month dummies. Back there in the Primark bag, I'm not sure if you can see, um, I have nine to twelve month clothes. I've got excess storage stuff here, like baskets, and in here I've got all of his storybooks, so that's mine. I need to have a glass of wine and a read of that. So all of this is going into backpack bags. I just need to put some washing away, then we're pretty much done, and I'll show you the, I'll show you the end result.
Little. Hello, it's the next day. So yesterday we got, um, it got late. <laughs> I have Stanley here with me. I've just lit the fire because it's, <coughs> it's freezing. Yeah. Today's been a bit of a grisly day with Alfie. <coughs> yes, it has. You've not wanted to be anywhere, <coughs> anywhere but mummy. Yeah, so I've just lit the fire. Oh, <coughs> that was so funny. I... I'm gonna give myself another one of these because we don't sleep anymore, do we? And that's fine, we're getting used to not sleeping anymore. And uh, we survive off co coffee and caffeine. That's what we do. So, I've got to go pick up the other half from the train station because he's been out in London today. And my plan is to try that sling I found yesterday. I managed to pack up loads of stuff yesterday, so if I get my hands free today, I'll show you the finished, um, yeah, you are very distracting. I'll show you the finished product of the nursery. I thought I would just quickly vlog me trying on the new sling to see what it's like. This is really nice, I have my hands free. This is the first time all day I've had my hands free. Right, so this is it, obviously, like I showed you. Oh my God, you can have him on your back. I think that's the one because he likes to look around. See. So this, right? I'm just I'm gonna figure this out and then I'm gonna come back to you. <laughs> Whoever wore this before is exactly the same size as me. How did you nick that? This is a dribble bib. Like that. <coughs> Legs here, arms here. Yay! This is what we want. I'll cave in and look at the instruction manuals considering that I'm carrying my child. Cleavage, darling. I need those instructions, they're quite actually quite important. Is it Tuesday? So last night went to pot. I think I'm gonna have to come down here. This is a stupid angle. You saw us getting ready to go out on the WALK. We had a lovely time in the new sling. Alfie loved it because he was looking around. So that was really good. And then, oh, how basically broke loose. And Alfie got very upset, didn't you? Alfie was fine in the car and I thought, this is nice, we're gonna go for a little drive. Went and picked up Daddy. And just before Daddy got in the car, Alfie started screaming, so we got home, continued screaming. I'd given some, him formula literally just before we'd left. So I was like, you can't be hungry, surely, like a whole bottle. Scream, 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 and I just thought, you know what, fuck this. We had bath time, which you enjoyed, and then you drank a whole other bottle, didn't you? So that was probably about two hours between two massive bottles, so you were starving. So that was that, so I ended up going to bed with... Yeah, Alfie, I shut all the curtains and I put on one day on Netflix and I ate my McDonald's in bed after Alfie had fallen asleep next to me in your little sleep bag. So you were snoozing on the bed. So that was our evening in the end yesterday. We got the dummy in, so hopefully we'll have a little nap. He's in the little pram. You're going to have a nap because he got really tired yesterday. He didn't nap at all yesterday. I think he had about 10 minutes. Um, and so far it's one o'clock and you haven't, again, haven't had any naps. Seems to nap with other people though, don't you? He likes to nap with Nanny and Granny. Oh, where's your dummy? I'm getting the nicest smiles, but he doesn't nap with mummy. I will show you the done nursery very soon. I'm gonna go change this boy. I'm on the energy drink again. Anyway, help. Guys, it is finally clear. So this obviously has to stay here. This is my desk, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you some, uh, in this one there's slings and then there's blankets, but yeah, otherwise, We've got a cute little nursery bag. That's full of toys. 
Yeah, that's a stool I need to paint. <laughs> but brilliant. I am chuffed to bits. And look at this my mum made. This is the cutest little thing. She is so talented. It's like a little snuggle thing. And then also this one, which I absolutely love too. But yeah, on that note, <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.